continuing from my previous video where from a gradient function we found a function uh, I want to do a few more examples and hopefully you have done these examples who have watched my first video so here the question is uh, f of x find f of x want to find the function f of x if f dash x which is a gradient function is 2x minus 7 and it has been given that f of x is 20 when x is negative 2 so let's try it so f of f dash x is given to be 2x minus 7 now whenever you have f dash x this is a different way of writing dy by dx this is nothing but dy by dx okay so this implies if you want to find the function from the gradient function you have to integrate the gradient function and that is the fundamental uh, theorem of calculus basically that uh, integrating a gradient function gives you the function uh, it doesn't give you the actual function it gives you the family of function okay and from the family of function you find a particular function by substituting this value in the function so uh, so we can say therefore f f f of x is equal to integration of 2x i'll write 2x to the power 1 and 7 i'm going to write as 7x to the power 0. now when you're integrating polynomials uh, you increase the power of the variable by 1 so this is 2x squared over 2 minus 7x or oh, uh, raised to 1 over oh, 1 plus c. Now those are no calculus for integration. This you can directly write the simplified form. So this is f of x is equal to x squared minus 7x plus c. Now for those who don't understand what is how to confirm whether your integration is right, you if you differentiate this function, what would you get? Okay, if you differentiate to x squared what would you get you get 2x can you see 2x sitting there and if you if you differentiate minus 7x you get minus 7 and if you differentiate a constant you get 0 so basically uh, can you see if you differentiate this or f dash x would be x 2x minus 7 okay now you have to just put this value into the back in this equation so we can say f of x is 20, so I can say 20 is equal to x is negative 2, so I'll put this in the bracket, negative 2 squared minus 7 times negative 2 plus c. So 20 is equal to 4 plus 14 plus c. This is where you have to be careful that you don't end up doing silly mistakes. So this is 18 plus c which implies c is 2. So your function f of x or y, you can also write this as y, is equal to f of x, which is nothing but x squared minus 7x plus 2. And if you think backwards, if you differentiate this, or in other words, how to check f dash x, if you differentiate this function, you, I hope you can see this is 2x minus 7. And that is what was given. The gradient function was given, and you had to find the function. Okay, moving on to the next question. The same type of question, but the, there's change in notation here. The gradient at any point in the curve is given by dy by dx. Okay, so let me use a different color. So we have been given dy by dx is equal to 4x plus. 4x to the power 1 plus 3x to the power 0. That is same as 4x plus 3. And the equation of the curve, if it passes through the point 1, 4, this means when x is 1, y is 4. Now this is to find the particular uh, function from the general function, okay, or far from a family of function. So I'm going to change notation so that you are familiarized with so yeah you can say y is equal to integration of dy by dx that is a gradient function with respect to dx 
Okay, so this is integration of what is divided by dx. Divided by dx is 4x to the power 1 plus 3x to the power 0 dx. So you can say this implies y is equal to 4x squared over 2 plus 3x to the power 1 over 1 plus c. So you can say this implies y. Simplifying this would be 2x squared plus 3x plus c. So I can put when x is 1, y is 4. So 4 is equal to 2 times 1 squared is 2 plus 3 times 1 is 3 plus c. So 4 is equal to 5 plus c. So taking away 5 from both sides, c is negative 1. Okay, and so your y, your function or the equation of the curve is, uh, this is 2x squared plus 3x minus 1. Now just to confirm whether your answer is right, it's always good to differentiate. Okay, so if you do divide by dx of this function, what would you get? Would be, you will get 4x plus 3, and that that is what was given, that dy by dx of this function is 4x plus 3. Okay, the last question. Uh, I think you can do this yourself. The gradient of the curve is 3x squared minus 8x plus 1. The curve passes through 2 and 6. Find the equation of the curve. 